Yeah, Kenyon, when you uh, just kind of look back at, at this season and, and heading into the you know the last game, what what would you say the uh, I guess the biggest improvement and growth that uh, you guys as an offensive line have experienced? Finishing blocks, uh, finishing assignments, just making sure that we're on top of everything as a unit, uh, getting. Getting better. Can you, you're you're muted. If, are you talking? I can't tell. There you go. Sorry. There we go. Um, we're getting better as a O line, just um, working on you know just the little things. You know, if we want to keep improving and keep on working on getting better each week, we gotta cut out the the little things we messed up on. So that's the main thing, just getting that done by each week. You know, just with doing that, you know, it just builds more confidence in the O-line. All right, let's uh, go back to Travis Brown, <laughs> see if he's got a question. Okay, now I'm ready. Um, Kenyon, uh, w- w- with the pandemic and how y'all have been away from, away from each other in the, in, the, in the summer, as an offensive lineman, what did you do, do personally to kind of to kind of that growth that you've seen seen from your year to your sophomore year? How challenging was it, and what were the the drills, the exercises, the things that you did to improve? improve? Um, just working every day, just going out, run, working on my technique, um, talking to the coaches and everything, just making sure I'm on top of everything. So I can be the best I can be, you know, for this season. Uh, do you feel like you've had a, a, an American type season, and and what would it mean to you to have something like that uh, uh, early in your career? No, not at all. Um, I feel like I got so much work to do. Uh, messed up on a couple assignments during games, so I gotta cut that out. So for me to have an All American season, it gotta be almost perfect. Appreciate it. All right, let's let's go to uh, Chip Howard from Sports Talk, and then we'll go to Zach Taylor. And Jan, uh, Jimbo was just saying how impressed he was with the defensive line at Tennessee. Obviously, every week you see good D lines in this league. Uh, has there been much difference from team to team that you've played in terms of the quality of the guys that you're going against every week? Well, each team has a um, you know great player, so. Really just got to prepare for them. Um, Tennessee, they're very physical, big front. Um, we're going to have to be um, low pads, just ready to, to play because they're going to come ready to play. I, I know you guys practiced Saturday. How would you describe the kind of practice you had on Saturday? I just focus on the little thing, just getting better, just, just coming together as a unit, really. Thank you. Next up is Zach Taylor from WTAW, and then we'll go Brent Zorma. Yeah, Kenyon, uh, we were talking with Coach Fisher and, and asking him if you guys speak at all or talk at all about the, the college football playoff rankings, if that's something that's on your mind. He said that y'all try to block that out as much as possible, but that's got to be hard, right? Um, not really. Just focus on each week. You know, we have Tennessee this week, so that's who we focus on, Tennessee. Um, Playoffs, it would come with us, you know, dominating each week like we should. Okay, so that's not a discussion that you guys have it all amongst yourselves or anything? Nah, uh, we okay. focus on whoever we playing, we focus on them each week. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, for you guys right now, do you feel like y'all are a playoff team? Um, I'm not going to even get into that. Just focus on Tennessee. Okay, thanks. All right, let's go to Brent Zorn, Zorn from the – Brent Zorman from the Houston Chronicle, and then we'll go to Justin Woodard. I can understand why you'd mess up, Brad, since we just met. Um, hey, Kenyon, um, what's been the biggest difference for y'all uh, this season on the offensive line as opposed to last season? It's been a huge difference. What what has been the biggest reason for that? Opposing our will on each team we play, making sure they feel us each play. Just, you know, going out there and dominating, that's the main thing. Dominating and make sure Kelly don't get touched. 
were y'all aware or do you, do you read the things here, the things in the off season and people saying, Hey, the offensive line is maybe the biggest question mark, the criticism, things like that. And did y'all use that as motivation? No, nah, we just kept our head down. We didn't even know it was talking about us. We just focused on us. Just getting better each day, you know, working on the stuff that we need to work on as a unit. Hey, what kind of guy is DeMarvin Leal to try to block? Could you describe that? A monster. It's crazy. He can play anything. He can play DN um, in the interior. And he's so so fast to be that big, so it's, it's crazy. And Jimbo's talked about how he just has a passion for the game. I think he said the same thing about you as well. But do you see that passion, and where does that passion come from for DeMarvin? Oh, he he want he want to be in the backfield each play. So you're gonna have to do everything you can to stop him because he's getting back there regardless. Thank you. All right, we'll wrap it up with Justin Woodard from KX. Hey, can you? Is it fair to say that once y'all get going and pose your will, you use that word in a game like you did against Auburn? Uh, is it fair to say that Jimbo just kind of runs runs it until they say? They can't stop it. Yes, sir. Um, when we get rolling and we feel like, you know, we we impose our will on them, we just ask them, can we keep running the ball? Just keep driv driving it down their throat. What's that like as an offensive lineman, knowing that Jimbo's putting it in your hands? Go in, go move the ball down the field. Oh, it's a beautiful feeling. Um, they, that means he trusts us. So with that trust, we got to be prepared for each week you know, preparing to be the best that we can be. And a little a little bit of a passing game here. Chase Lane has stepped up, obviously, and, and we know what Anais can do out of the slot. But have you guys been able to move the ball and put up points and look really good on offense without a dominant wide receiver on the outside? Can you put that into words for us? Uh, we most definitely have good dominant um, wide outs. Anais, Chase, everybody is doing their part, so – I feel like everybody's doing good. Um, we just we working as a unit right now. All right, that's all we got for you. Thank you. Thank you.